Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So what I got going on here today, working on trying to get this ready to patch this drill back together, or at least attempt to anyway. Uh, I did do some testing. I welded this bar on with just a pass at 7018 and uh, bend down on it, which it did bend. But then as soon as I went back the other way, it, it broke off in the parent material. From drilling on this, I know it, it's got a fair bit of cast to it, even though they call it a semi-steel. It's got a decent amount of iron in it because it drills out kind of powdery. It doesn't really come out in chips or strands, so it's not very ductile. No doubt that's why I broke, because it wasn't very ductile. Otherwise, we're just bent. So, I did, uh, I tried multiple things. I tried preheating up like 400 degrees and welding it and got pretty much the exact same result. So that didn't seem to make a lot of difference. Uh, welding it with nickel, it failed it even less than what it did with this. So I think I'm on the right track. But since I decided I get a pretty good weld except for end of the parent material, uh, I'm gonna use a cheat. Pick this technique up out of the, uh, actually I picked it up first off Esau, but Lincoln had it on there too, about uh, on heavy castings, drilling and tapping, and some viewers suggested the same thing, to drill and tap and put some studs in. So when I weld this up, I've got these anchors that are down below the heat affected zone of where we're welding. So they're getting a lot stronger tie-in. It's essentially like I've got this bolted even though it's gonna be embedded in weld. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my welder and come in here and build this out in this area because it's all, it's broke down in and there's no way for me to be able to do this with it together. So I've got to build this out to where I've got something that I can access with the rods and then I'll just have to cut off whatever on that side and build it back to it. So whatever it takes to make it fit. So I'm gonna get this side where I'm happy with something I can work with and then I'll make the other side fit. I left the ear on so I've got this hole I can index off of and then I've got this plate over on the side that I've drilled and tapped that's bolted on here that uh, registers this other side for where it has to be. So that's the, the motor mount side. It's actually funny, there's still some sand on here from the original casting that never got flaked off. So, interesting to see that trapped in there. So, do the same thing here. I'll build this out till I got something I can work with. Uh, can't can't weld around these corners, so you got to do something and I can't get in here to weld it because this ear that's on this side blocks all this access, so there's no way to weld any of this from this side. So I'll just have to cut all that out. This would be a good application for a carbon arc gouge if I had one. Maybe I, I'll uh, keep my eye out. Maybe I can pick one up. Don't know if I'll get it before I finish this project, but who knows, because it just depends on how the days go, as to what time I've got to work on this and what has to be spent farming, so. But uh, I guess it's progress. Well, let me get this welded up and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like uh, before I try and stick this side back on, which I know I'm gonna have to do some grinding on to make it fit, but this, uh, I can get good access to this now, so that's a good time to build it out. Trying to work up in that hole is pretty much impossible. Well, here's where we're at. You can see I've got some studs down in there. I pre-welded the bottom sides of them since you won't really be able to access it. I've got a V'd out, but it's positioned using this bracket and the original bolt hole to hold everything out. 
see that that's where I padded it in order to get it or I could actually see it because it was around the corner so that's a tricky joint to weld for sure uh, not looking forward to that but it's what it's going to have to be uh, perhaps I can get in there as deep as I can and maybe at some point later on I can come from the other side with a carbon arc gouge and open it back out and complete it all the way through but uh, there's studs in the weld on that side already I done covered them up and then studs on that side see them down through there and what I've got beat out So the bottom won't be too bad to weld. I don't think I can do that pretty easy. It's that vertical up in the corner that's gonna be the problem for sure. Because just running this before, uh, I didn't have a lot of success doing vertical up on this material anyway. It was funny, I do it on steel, it works pretty good, but it doesn't seem to work on this for whatever reason. So, it's kind of hard to practice on mystery metal. Uh, it does lay down good going crossways. So, I'll be able to get this filled in on the top nice. And when I get this all done, I'll run some stringers across all the way, tie this in, cover the gap. And it'd probably be nice if I had a MIG welder to get up in that corner to do that because then I wouldn't have slag to deal with. It's like getting the slag evacuated out of there is gonna be problematic. I'm sure uh, a blind corner, it's, that's not a good place to weld. But it's kind of what I got to work with. I didn't want to cut all this off and try and do it. It wouldn't really help a whole lot because I'd still be having to weld around that corner. Uh, can't weld in from the top, there's no room. So. Can't just build out. Just gotta do it the hard way. And see, I did do some practice welds there. So, 7018 looks okay on that. From this side, and do about the first or top two inches or so, and that's it. It's blocked out. Well, I guess my only choice at this point is to heat this thing up real good tomorrow, try and get as much heat in as I can, and uh, give it a go, try and weld it up. Uh, so far what I've welded on, I haven't had any cracking issues, so hopefully that's a good sign. And I guess I'll just have to use 7018 because $2,000 worth of nickel wire to try and weld this back up with. It's not really practical to do, so I just have to get it good and warm and use the 7018 and hope it stays working like it has been. I said, I don't know if the nickel would make a lot of difference anyway, because when I was doing that test bar and uh, welding it on and breaking it back off, it was actually stronger with the 7018 than it was with the nickel. So I don't know what that tells you about it, if anything, but that's where we're at. So wish me luck. So uh, welding in that corner is not, not going to be good. I tried looking around on YouTube to see if anybody had anything about doing stunt welding like that, but I couldn't find anything. Most everything's all just typical welding up structural shapes, which is cakewalk compared to doing something like this, I think. Because uh, we'll talk about, uh, I contacted Lock and Stitch because a whole bunch of people had questioned about that as a method, and they said because of the curve on this, it was not really a good use for that, and difficult to tie in, especially this 90 degree down here in the bottom. And they said it's only like 
of the original joint strength anyway. So they recommended because of the motor and everything back here that it be full penetration welded in order to get the maximum strength out of it. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.